In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on FedEx to help you determine if it is a buy, a hold or a sell. So let's head over to my spreadsheet and check out the basics first. And if you want access to this sheet, simply click on the link in the description below. So currently the stock price is sitting at $297.69 with a market cap of 78.9 billion. The PE ratio is 26.4 and the industry PE ratio is 26.9 with a dividend yield of 0.87%. So that is the basics. Now we are going to head over to the fundamentals and look at the financial health of FedEx. The first thing we are looking at is the revenues and you will see that the revenues have been increasing every single year and it is in an uptrend. Currently it's looking really good. The next thing we are looking at is the earnings per share. Now you will see that this has been very volatile in the last while. In 2018 it was sitting at 16.8 but currently it is sitting at 11.3. The next thing we are looking at is the return on equity. Now with the return on equity, we are looking at a benchmark of 10%. So in this case, you will see that it's also a little bit volatile. The return on equity has been more than 10% for the most part with 2015, 2019 and 2020 sitting below 10%. But currently they are sitting at 15% return on equity. Now with the return on invested capital, we are looking at the same thing, also a 10% benchmark. In this case, you will see that they have not been doing 10%. There have been a few months where they have been doing 10%, but for the most part, not. Currently, they are sitting at 5.4%. Now we are going to look at the gross margins. Now you will see in 2011 and 2012, gross margins was really good, sitting at 63, 64%, but it has been dropping and currently it is sitting at 21%. The next thing we are looking at is the net margins. Now you will see that the net margins are looking a bit low, sitting between 4, 5 and then 7% and currently sitting at 4%. Now we are heading over to the operating cash flows, which is the money that they make from the day-to-day -day operations. And as you will see, it has been in a bit of an uptrend for the most part. And in the trailing 12 months, it's looking really good, sitting at 9 billion. Next up is the free cash flows, which is basically the operating cash flows minus the capital expenditures. Now you will see that this is a little bit inconsistent and they have been obviously been spending quite a bit in capital expenditures in 2017, 18 and 2020. And currently they are sitting at 3.8 billion. Now we are going to look at the current ratio. Now with the current ratio, we are looking at a current ratio of one or higher. This tells us if they have got more current assets than current liabilities. Now in FedEx's case, it's sitting at 1.6, so they do have more current assets than liabilities. With a debt to equity ratio, we are looking at a debt to equity ratio of 40% or less. In FedEx's case, you will see that it is a little bit high, sitting at 160%, so not coming close for 40% we are acquiring. Next up, we are looking at shares outstanding. Now with the shares outstanding, you will see that, they, that it has been decreasing and the company has been doing some buybacks over time. So it also means that shareholders have not been diluted, which is a good thing. Now we are going to score them down in our 10 point checklist and see how they perform in terms of the fundamentals. Now the current ratio is 1.6. Debt to equity sitting at 163%. Revenues have been growing by 7.2% over the last 10 years. So they get a check from us. And the return on equity has been growing by 12.39%. Return on invested capital only 8.47%. The free cash flows have been increasing by 20.3% over the last 10 years. And the operating cash flows only by 86 The gross margins sitting at 28%, net margins at 4%, and the earnings per share have been growing by 7% over the last 10 years, which means that they are scoring a 5 out of 10 for the fundamentals. So that is the fundamentals. Now we are going to head over to the management to see how experienced the management is and how they are investing the capital for the shareholders. So we will see that the leadership team have been around for more than two years. The board members have been around for more than three years. So it is an experienced leadership team and it is an experienced board team. The return on invested capital have been growing by 8.47% over the last 10 years. So unfortunately not the 10% we require. And the reason we require 10% is we want to see management investing the capital for the shareholders with a return of 10% or more per year. So the total for the management is two out of three. Now we are going to head over to the insider trading to see if the insiders are buying or selling shares. If they are buying shares, it means that they are positive about their stock price going up in the future. And if they are selling shares, then it's probably a red flag. 
So looking at the insider trading, we will see in the last 12 months, there has been quite a bit of selling going on, more than 400,000 shares. And in the last three months, more than 160,000 shares have been sold by insiders. So to me, that is a little bit of a red flag. Now we are going to head over to the analyst ratings and see what the analysts think about this stock. So as you can see, the analysts are rating it a five out of five, five giving it a strong buy, 17 a buy, six a hold and one a strong sell. They are predicting a price target of $338.05 over the next year and with a potential return of 13.56%. And if you had invested in FedEx a year ago, you would have had a 116% return on your investment. So it would have been an amazing investment a year ago. So with that being said, now we are heading over to the final part of this video, which is my verdict around the stock. And if you enjoyed this video and this stock analysis, please remember to click the like button below this video. So looking at the verdict, we will see that the fundamentals, not that great, sitting at five out of 10. Management, two out of three. There has been some insider selling going on. The current price is sitting at $297.69 with a fair price according to a DCF model of 242%, which means that it is slightly overvalued at the moment. I think if there's a really good dip, then it's a good time to buy. As you can see, if you invested a year ago, you would have had a 116% return on your investment. However, I feel that at the moment, at this current price, it's a little bit overvalued. If you like money, creating wealth and want financial freedom, please join our money tribe by clicking the subscribe button below this video now. And because I know you need a little extra motivation, every month we will give away a copy of our book, The Money Secret, along with some really cool channel merchandise. And we will give it to active subscribers on this channel. So make sure to click the subscribe button below this video now and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we do more videos like this.